What makes a worthy plated dessert? Flavor, texture, temperature. Bottom line, you should get the whole story right from the first bite. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. This is heaven. No kidding, there's a lot going on in this thing. But hey, one step at a time. So, en premier, we are going to make an intense in chocolate eggless crust. Turn chocolate disc into small pieces and set aside. And process together butter, sugar, fleur de sel, and cocoa powder. Then I'm gonna add the flour mixed with a baking soda, and then the pieces of dark chocolate mixed to combine, done. So, out of this crust recipe, I'm gonna make two thin discs. To ease the process, I like to use a silicone baking mat and parchment paper. So you want this to be evenly distributed and you will easily end up with a 2 mm thick pastry sheet. Yet, when you plan to make a complex dessert, do things ahead of a time. Except for the chocolate crème, everything else can be made in advance. I'm gonna pop this in the freezer and I'm gonna do the second one. To follow, we are going to make something you have never heard of. Clarified cocoa water, which will become cocoa gelée. So, I'm gonna infuse the milk with toasted cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs are highly nutritious chocolate product from crushed cocoa beans. So after three hours infusion, sieve and bring milk back to a boil. Whisk in the acid citric or use a few drops of lemon juice. Now it's going to separate and that's what you want. Filter hot liquid and add the softened gelatin and freeze. Next step, you want to place the frozen block in a strainer and let thaw. So what's gonna happen is that only the good liquid is going to be extracted. So save it and discard the gelatinous part. So I'm gonna add a bit of sugar and vanilla. The vanilla remains optional though. Heat that up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 Celsius, add the softened gelatin and pour into a medium-sized baking tray lined with a plastic sheet. Refrigerate until set and cut into squares. Meanwhile, macerate golden raisins in a light and hot simple syrup with Armagnac or Cognac, Cointreau, Rum, whatever you like. Next in the agenda, I'm gonna make the cocoa and nibs crunch. Make a light caramel with sugar and water. Add cocoa and nibs, give a good stir, and spread it over a baking silicone mat. Let cool and break into pieces. Now, the mascarpone ice cream. Heat up milk to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 Celsius. Then whisk in honey, milk powder, and egg yolks. Blend and cook to 185 Fahrenheit, 85 Celsius. Then add the gelatin and the mascarpone. Mix well and refrigerate overnight. So this ice cream recipe, by the way, has been adapted for home cooks. Now, if you are a professional and own one of these uh, ice cream turbine or packaget, please refer to the written recipe. There is another ice cream formula for professionals. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate decoration from scratch. So we're gonna use dark chocolate couverture. Although this dessert actually calls for chocolate from Peru, you've got other options. Melt chocolate to 130 Fahrenheit, 55 Celsius. Then refrigerate until the temperature reaches 79 Fahrenheit, uh, 26 Celsius. Then rewarm chocolate to 89.6 Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius. Keep an eye on it, it goes fast. Next, pour about one cup of tempered chocolate on the left side, then cover with a second plastic sheet and carefully spread the chocolate evenly into a thin sheet. Once it's set to the touch, cut into disc, flip and refrigerate. 
and when ready to use, carefully remove plastic sheets and store chocolate disc in a sealed container. Next, the chocolate filling. So I'm gonna bring to a boil milk and heavy cream. Add it to the melted chocolate, mix well and add the egg. Smooth out using your immersion blender and set aside. Now I'm gonna turn the oven on and set it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. Then I'm gonna grab the frozen pastry sheets and flip over a silpin baking mat. The silpin mat is a flexible non-stick liner that has perforated texture, which happens to be useful since this dessert is going to be served crust side up. Bake the crust for 20 minutes and remove from the oven. Lower temperature to 275 Fahrenheit, 135 Celsius. Add the chocolate creme and bake for 10 more minutes. Turn the oven off and leave it for 5 minutes more if needed. Do not overbake. Cool that off and remove the cake ring and cut into portions. So, as mentioned earlier, the crust and the filling should be baked the day you want to serve the dessert, cause that thing does not hold refrigeration very well. I hope guys, you have enjoyed this one-of-a-kind plated dessert. If you are up to the challenge, please sign up to my online community and share your experience and pictures. Please give me a like and subscribe to my cooking channel and website and sign up in order to get my free ebook. Have a beautiful day, bon appétit, and see you very soon.